All right, guys. So I this is I did this was really not planning to make this video at all, but um, I just finished um the main campaign of the Roblox game Heroes of the Forest. I made a video about it earlier. I was pretty excited. The ending was coming out pretty soon, and while I didn't really get to stream my or show my live reaction to the ending, um, I just really wanted to talk about it because, oh my gosh, like this, the ending to this game is absolutely amazing. Now, like, in coming off the backs of making two videos about Adventure Forward 2 and pa Super Paper Roblox, where I basically was, like, saying about how trash and garbage those endings were, seeing, like, a Roblox adventure game actually end in a super satisfying way and just a super epic, amazing way with very little to any problems with it, it it's just amazing. Like, this, the ending of this game... It almost made me cry. I think I did probably shed a tear just of how just incredible yeah, it was. Like it was, it was so cinematic. The boss fight was incredible. It was wasn't too difficult, but it definitely wasn't a cakewalk either. Um, there was just so much more to this ending than I was expecting. I kind of just thought it would just be you know final boss, final cutscene, roll credits. But they really knocked it out of the park. The developers of Heroes of the Force, and they really just made it just something super special. Um, there, there's just so much to talk about, like, I don't really know where to begin, uh, uh, I will say, uh, spoilers, yeah, big, big, big spoilers since I'm talking about the ending. So, um, I will say, all of my theories were pretty much right, and I think you can tell I'm very giddy about that, like, oh, wow, yeah, like, I got, I got everything right, pretty much. Um, the ending did play out exactly how I expected, um, I really like how they, um, handled the... Lachlan is secret reveal. I mean, in hindsight, although people were arguing against it and stuff, I mean, it was pretty obvious. And um, yeah, now it's confirmed, so uh, you have no reason to deny it. But I really do like how it was handled. Um, obviously, it most likely got inspiration from the whole, you know, stratosphere is star saver thing, you know, the hero being the villain, but autonomy. But just the way it was handled in this game, I really like it. It was pretty tasteful. They didn't linger on it. They didn't pretend it was some massive twist that the audience wouldn't have guessed. But they did make it a reveal that was felt like the characters in the game. It was, like, shocking to them. So, I really did like that. Um, the actual first boss fight with Secret, it was pretty cool. Um, you know, you actually got to use the rocket launcher in the fight. Um... I liked how pretty much it had five phases to it, since you had to use the rocket launcher to destroy the little bits of his health bar, and then your friends would come in and help. It felt very cinematic and kind of a closure to these characters, um, how they all had their one little one-liners, even funny little jokes in there at the last minute, and how they all help you defeat Secret. And, um, watch it. and just like how I predicted, um, obviously... Lachlan was the host body for the Dark Heart, and when it was destroyed, the Dark Heart, you know, came back. It was in its full form. And um, the Dark Heart's plan... Now, this is one thing that I didn't really linger on, or the one thing that I wasn't really expecting. Um, the Dark Heart, its plan was to use a host body that was alive and well so that I could escape the forest and terrorize the world. But, <laughs> since it was sealed away... Even though it had Lachlan's body, since Lachlan was a human, it had been a hundred years, so he was dead by the time he came back. So pretty much Secret had nothing to work with other than this corpse. Sorry, I'm just still trying to take it in. So his plan was to use the player as a host, and he he succeeds in that, by the way. Lock, uh, Secret, the, not Secret, the, the Dark Heart, he gets his way, he wins. And... That was really cool to see. And not only does he win, he also gets all of the player's friends as well and turns them into these little puppets. And he takes over the world. He wins. And so, um, oh yeah, another little detail I noticed is that the arenas that you fight the bosses in are the exact same floor patterns as the area that the Dark Heart was freed in in the intro cutscene. So that is amazing. Just the amount of detail and symbolism in this ending is just amazing. So, okay, so next, um, you're kind of in like the spirit world and you're talking to Lachlan and he's kind of explaining to you kind of what happened. This is basically the lore reveal area and I really liked it. It was a very tasteful way of revealing the lore. There wasn't really too much dialogue to go through, but what was there 
was satisfying and interesting, and um, it, it actually makes sense within the confines and the rules of the world. And so, by the end, we, um, Lachlan kind of turns into, like, this sword, this stick thing, and, um, you know, um, and then the final battle begins, and this is what I love. So, the final battle of this game, this is your final spoiler, the actual, like, final fight against the Dark Heart is the Dark Heart possessing one of those, um, Hero of the Forest statues. And this is why that is amazing to me. So, the entire game, these statues have been pretty much everywhere, and they've told the story of this hero who saved the forest a hundred years ago. He brought peace. He was never heard of, but he was never heard from again. It was kind of like a Good Samaritan type story where he did the deed, but then was never seen or heard from again. But as you go through the game, you start to see the little cracks and pieces in this seemingly, like, concise and heroic tale. You see that it wasn't exactly this 100% victory. It was actually a pretty big defeat, almost, because the bad guy won, and his he was just stalled for a little bit. Um, so, they... And so, over, but over time, all those details were lost, you know? I mean, I think... Key was the only one who really knew. The gatekeeper was the really only one who knew the truth. And he didn't really tell anyone. Heck, he forgot. I mean, he had to write it down in books just to even half remember. And by this point, I bet he doesn't remember at all. But, like, he, I mean, yeah, history was misconstrued. And people just got this image of a hero with a sword who uh, triumphantly destroyed Secret a hundred years ago. But in reality, it was something pretty, I don't know, somber, sad even. And I really like that, how in the final fight, you fight essentially this perfect, immortalized image of what everyone thought the hero was versus who they actually are. And in the end, you know, you win. And the boss fight, this final fight, is amazing. Very cinematic. It's a pretty long, hefty fight, which is also really, really cool. And, um, I don't know, just the way that the arena keeps shifting, how you have to, there's just multiple different attacks, multiple different phases. In the final third of the fight, the statue is completely destroyed, and you just fight the Dark Heart one-on-one. -on -one. It's just, it is just amazing. Like, you, you have to play this game. If, if you have qualms with it, like, I mean, I know there's some parts of the game that are kind of like, eh, but, like, this entire, this entire final era is just perfection. It is the chef's kiss. It is... A 9 out of 10. Now, why is it not a 10 out of 10? I, I won't spoil the very final ending area. I want you to experience that for yourself. But just know that it's incredible. It is an amazing wrap-up to the story. I love it. Um, there, there is only one real problem with it. Um, and I did talk about it on Discord a tiny bit. It's the lack of the gatekeeper's involvement with anything. Like, he and Locke, they're like best friends and stuff. Um, you think that... Either the gatekeeper would step in at the last moment and actually help out in the battle, or if Locke's ghost would, like, come and say something to him, but nothing really happened. I mean, his final moments were with us, which was just as cool, if not cooler, but, like, you know, it, it's unfortunate that the gatekeeper literally just did not care. Like, he was on the beach, and he saw the water rustle, and that was the last we saw of him. No closure for him. But, hey, maybe the, maybe they'll do a post-game or a DLC, and I, I was actually thinking about that. Um, they could do, maybe a long, long time later, they could do some sort of, like, post-game or DLC in the outskirts where, you're, like, you're trying to help the FST figure out where in the world the Dark Heart actually came from. And who knows, maybe, um, it's turtle scientists who come back and mess around a bit, because he's still technically out there. Um, but yeah, this is an amazing game. This is an amazing finale. Um, I love everything about it. Play the game. Even if you don't, even if you don't care about the story for whatever reason, play it for the bosses, man. These bosses are freaking epic. You need to experience them, and uh, yeah. Uh, see you next upload.